Hello, welcome to another Live to Inspire tutorial. Make sure you head over to the website where you will learn everything you need to turn your passion or hobby into a business. And while you're there, be sure to give us a like on Facebook to get access to the latest content and videos. The link will be down in the description, so I'll see you there. Okay, so let's get started. Today, we're going to be learning how to get a domain name and set up hosting through GoDaddy. And remember, if you want to get a discount on domains and hosting, then make sure you click on my GoDaddy affiliate link down in the description. Okay, so once you get onto the GoDaddy website, it should look something like this. I've already set up an account with GoDaddy, so um, I'm not going to... I'm not going to do it again, but you'll just have to click this button here. That'll bring up this page, and you just enter in your info right here. And this is just so you can set up your um, account with, with the GoDaddy website. So once you get all that info typed in, you'll, you'll know that you're logged in when... Um, You'll log into your account and your name will pop up right here at the top left hand corner. You'll see your name right here. So what you want to do is click on domain names and this is the part where you're going to choose your name. So at this point you want to pick out a domain name that's going to be specific to the type of website that you're setting up. In this example I'm going to pretend that I'm starting a snowboarding website. So for here I'm going to try writing in um, snowboarding.com. Right here, you'll, on the uh, right hand side, you, you'll be able to see either .com, uh, you'll, you can pick out .net, .info, whatever you want. I'm going to try .com right now. And as you can see, it says snowboarding.com is already taken. So I can't use that. Uh, that domain name so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and change this to dot uh, dot info just because dot info is a lot less popular and it's a lot less um, expensive and this is just an example I'm not actually gonna be using this domain so I'm just gonna choose dot info for this example so we'll try snowboarding um, Actually, you know what? Let me get rid of this here. Let's try cool snowboarding dot info. I don't think that will be taken, so let's try that. Okay. And here you can see cool snowboarding dot info. It is available. So all we have to do is click add right here. And you'll see on the right hand side that it will bring it into your little order box. So you just want to click continue to registration. And here you want to bring down your registration length. You can change it to however long you want. One year, two years, three years, five years, ten years. I'm just going to put it at one year. Um, just because again this is just an example. I'm not actually going to be using this domain. So now we get on to the next page and you can just keep yours standard that should in include everything that you need click next and on this page you can add additional emails to your website you'll already start out with one so typically you, you don't need to upgrade um, for a little while but right here where it says add hosting you are going to want to add your hosting so I'm going to click on this one. It only has 10 uh, gigs of space. Typically I use 150 gigs um, for my websites, but for this example, I'm just going to use the 10. And that's, what is it, $4 for something uh, for, uh, per month for uh, the 10 gig hosting. And then we click Next, and this will bring you to your checkout. And uh, right here, you'll see the order total, $62. Yours might be a little bit more than that if you chose a .com or a .net or if you got the 150 gigs for your website. Um, but here, all you have to do is click Continue to Checkout. And that will bring you to this page right here where you want to enter in your um, all your credit card info and all that stuff. I already did that with mine, so I don't need to do it again, but that 
doesn't pretty self-explanatory pretty easy so you just fill in this these boxes here and then we're just gonna click place order now oops and I forgot to hit the uh, agree to the terms so you check the agree to terms place order now and then it will bring you to this page your order is complete so once you've actually ordered your domain and hosting GoDaddy is going to take probably about 15 to 30 minutes to actually set up your domain and hosting account so you won't be able to access your domain until um, until GoDaddy actually um, sets up the account so that'll take about 15 to 20 minutes you might have to, to hang out for a while until they do that but as soon as GoDaddy set up, sets up the account um, the next thing that you want to do is click on my account up here at the left hand corner click that and it'll bring you to this page and you want to go down and click on hosting so you're going to come down here and just click on web hosting right there and this will bring up the domains that you have you'll probably only have one here I have a few but you'll click on the domain that you just purchased click launch right here and that'll bring you up to this web this uh, page um, we're gonna we're gonna add an application here so typically I use WordPress to build my websites WordPress is very simple to use um, you know beginners can can start creating a website very easily lots of tutorials if you go on YouTube to learn how to to build your website with WordPress so we're going to um, install WordPress onto our onto our database here okay so when you get onto this page it'll bring up the WordPress you just click install now and that'll say processing so once you do that um, it'll bring you to this page you want to click on your domain just click that little bubble right there hit next and that'll bring you to this part um, what you're gonna want to do is create your um, your database password make sure you don't lose it um, so put, put in something that you can remember right here okay and you just hit next now right here um, if you'd like to install this in the root directory we would so you want to make sure you delete uh, delete the word in that box so that it's a blank and then hit next okay a few more things to fill out admin name so just put something in right here I'm gonna put Scotty password I'm gonna use the same password that I used on the last page okay and then you just type in um, hit finish okay so once you get to this page um, GoDaddy is going to be installing the WordPress application onto your account so this um, part will also take about 15 uh, to 20 minutes for them to in install this application so if you go back up to the top left hand corner here and click on my account click on my account and go back and click on hosting again click launch on your domain once you get back to this page you'll see on the right hand side where it says applications and you'll see right here where WordPress is pending so 
you'll know to, you'll know that it's done when um, when that's done turning around like that. So now, um, so let's fast forward a little bit. All right. So now WordPress is done installing um, onto the database, and once it's done installing, you can go up to your address bar and type in the domain that you made up. I'm going to type in coolsnowboarding.info and that brings us to our website. At this point I can start editing the website. Um, you'll learn how to get into your WordPress dashboard and make changes. You can pretty much customize anything that you want on your website. So we're going to log in right here real quick. Okay, this is where we type in that info that we made up, so make sure that you don't lose that. I'm going to log in right here, and this brings you to your WordPress dashboard, and this is where you can make changes to your website. Um, you can change the look of it, make up all the pages, put the pictures and the videos, and everything that you want in your website. So that's pretty much it as far as setting up the domain and hosting it's pretty straightforward and on the next lesson we'll be learning how to um, how to actually build the website and start bringing people to it um, we'll be learning how to you know create products and services and how to actually get your website into something that's gonna make money for you that's it for now see you on the next lesson